This is a place that if you're in Merida and you need a gift for either the people back in the States, it's uh, the Galileas El Trinfo. Uh It's on Paseo Monteo and 56. Uh, it's a nice walk. There's nice cafes there. This place has everything in the world, basically. And it kind of tends towards the glitz, but there's some interesting things that you can pick up from the very small to the, to the very large. Uh, and they're the kind of thing that your friends will simply delight in. I've been buying all my gifts here now for three years. It's very inexpensive. They gift wrap beautifully. And I'm just running through the store here. It is packed from ceiling, uh, from the floor to the ceiling with furniture, uh, Ajay Dar of every kind, small and large. There's some of those little... Um, faces that you can get of the harlequins and, and some of this is a little dark because um, of the uh, uh, lighting in the place you know it comes and goes you know uh, and there's an upstairs and a downstairs too which I didn't bother to photograph I wanted to give you some idea as you walk through what you'll be seeing uh, I always buy some little jeweled animals, uh, which I like very much. They're very small, they're very inexpensive, and they're like like little pill cases, or you can keep a ring in it, or change, or something like that, and they're very fanciful, and uh, uh, they seem to make you know, great gifts. You know, people appreciate when they get them. But th th this is a section that's going through some of the clowns and harlequins they have. Um, there's lots of that. There's lots of furniture. It's it tends to be uh, you kind of imaginative furniture. Is I guess is all I can say. Uh, uh, but they have huge mirrors and huge uh, gold frames for pictures. You know, and huge gold mirrors. And um, if you want to furnish your house and to get some stuff in there that will stop traffic, they have they have that too. It's a great place to come for. Christmas if you want to get things for your nativity scene you know again we're going through some of the some of the doll sections here just to give you some idea as to how it goes um, I uh, that I find that I can get uh, I bought gifts for 12 people for under $150 and they were and then the kind of gifts where people get them they really love them uh, they were little jeweled fish in this case, with a with a few other things, you know, thrown in. And they're, they have a little they have a little case where they keep the jeweled animals. I happen to like them because they're so unusual and uh, they have a little fantasy about them. Some of these things obviously wouldn't come from Mexico, uh, you know, but in fact the bulk would. But they're things that the Mexicans like. Here's some of the large vases that they have, and uh, give you some idea. Uh, there and here's some, some some more of the huge vases that they have. These are big, you know, um, 200 bucks if you break it down from the pesos, you know, down to the dollars. And there's some of the large gilt frames that they have. And the place, as you can, if you're a woman and you like to shop, you can get lost here for a century, basically. You just never would come out. You'd have to have somebody bring you lunch in. Uh, and that's me with my little face in the mirror taking the pictures with my camera. Uh, you can see the depth of the columns here. Again, there's some more mirrors. I want to show you those, some of the lamps. They have some some nice cement, uh, uh, sculpture here, which is, of course, a, a plaster cast. And in many cases, uh, it's not plaster, it's some other uh, product, but it looks quite good. Um, that if you like large sculptures of Venus or whatever, you know, you're going to find them here, and and, and they're life size too. They're they're huge. You know, I'm kind of going through. I don't know whether my camera got screwed up here, but um, here's um, now I'm kind of back on track. Here again are some of the lamps from the very conventional modern lamps. Um, you know, right down to the uh, uh, avant-garde, so to speak. You can see them here, you know. Again, there's lots of hanging balls and things like that. I know that they're very popular here. And 
that, that, that they're kind of nice for Christmas. The figures they have for the nativity scene go from almost life size down to little miniatures and some of the flowers and uh, the golden goose, you know, so to speak. I'm, I'm just going through this. You can see just the range of things they have here. Uh, and they have a huge collection of artificial flowers, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, and here's some of the life-size statues that you see here. They're, they're of some kind of uh, plasticine, whatever it is. It's heavy. It's not like plaster of Paris. It's, it uh, has some strength to it. And, and uh, again, when there's some of the artificial flowers they have. And here's the area where they do the packaging, which is extravagantly beautiful and is very inexpensive, you know. Here's the stuff, some of the stuff that I bought, and uh, uh, you could go from extremely extravagant to something that runs about a dollar a, uh, a uh, uh, box, you know. And uh, you can see the, the, the varieties of ribbons and the, and the, and the variety of, of papers and, and finishes and, in fact, whatever you want. So I would advise you to get down here. If you need a gift, this is the place to come. Those are my gifts, all packed up, ready to come back to the States. They did a great job. Not one was damaged. <laughs>